Hello friends, um, today I'm coming to you with my Von Cleef jewelry update video. I got a few requests um, since I posted my jewelry collection video, which I'm gonna link uh, below in case you wanna refresh your memory what jewelry I have, but today I'm gonna be talking about Von Cleef only and about uh, wear and tear because uh, Van Cleef is known for their very delicate stones and I'm gonna tell you about my experience with this jewelry okay I don't have a lot of pieces I have one pair of earrings it's a uh, vintage uh, Alhambra with uh, with the um, mother of pearl now a challenge to show it to you okay so i have this um i have uh, two bracelets also with vintage alhambra uh, actually one is sweet alhambra this one uh with the um i think it's a pink gold pink gold and without any stones and um, I have a uh, uh, vintage Alhambra. So did I say it right? This is a sweet Alhambra, smaller one. And this is a vintage Alhambra bracelet with blue agate, which is, um, if you can tell, a little bit transparent stone. And I have two necklaces, again, in two different sizes. This one uh, with a red stone, I think it's called, called Carnelian. Um, and it's um, Sweet Alhambra. And I have um, Vintage Alhambra necklace with green malachite i mean malachite i think malachite can be only green okay so forgive me if i butchered the names correct names prices and history of getting them are again in my um jewelry collection video which gonna be linked below today i'm just gonna talk about a very tear my experience with this um how i take care of it which I don't really, and what I know about uh, people experiencing problems with them so far. Well, I have to say something that, except of this necklace, which I wear sometimes day after day for a month, uh, and I shower with it, and I um, swim with it, which I shouldn't be doing, don't suggest. And uh, so far, I don't see any problems with the stone. Maybe because it's a, a relatively small stone, I don't see any shrinking. I'm not sure if this stone shrinks. Again, I think it's carnelian, but I'm not sure. And it's also quite transparent. Um, regarding shine, it's still shiny to me. I don't know if you can tell uh, from the video, but it's in good uh, condition. But I heard it's one of uh, more than less durable um, stones, uh, this one. Love this one. And actually, when I get matching e um, earrings for this, um, uh, not necessarily I'm going to be wearing them together, but I kind of like... Uh, those earrings on people I like the touch of touch of uh, red I feel like it's it's um, looks very nice yeah so so far um, I didn't check all the stores so far they're out of stock well hence Christmas is coming and a lot of people buying present in Van Cleef for um, Christmas by the way this is my another uh, 
necklace. This my husband gave me for one of the occasions. I don't remember. This one, I think I, I got it myself in Newman Marcos in Long Cliff. Okay, so this one I don't wear a lot, only for occasion, or if I wear it, I take make sure I take it off when I shower or swim or anything. Supposedly, this is most of um, um, vulnerable stones uh, Van Cleef uses. It's uh, malachite. I heard it can get shrinked and fall out of the um, frame, gold frame so far. I don't see any problems with it yet. Definitely not shrinkage. Shine is still there. But again, I have to note, I don't wear it on daily basis. I wear it only for occasion. And as far um, as I know, Malachite is one of the um, problematic stones um, to wear every day. So I wouldn't suggest that, but Personally, again, I don't have uh, any problems yet. Um, worth mentioning that Van Cleef always can replace the stone for you, obviously, for a cost. I'm not sure how much it costs uh, to replace a stone, depending on the stone. But um, still, you don't want to buy a $3,000 necklace and then to pay another 500. Again, not sure about cost to replace the now, stone. Moving up on earrings, and I'm actually gonna take those David Durman earrings off and just talk about my Van Cleef earrings and I'm gonna put them on and keep them on. So this Van Cleef earrings, it was present from my husband for our anniversary, I'm pretty sure. Like Mother of Pearl, um, again, um, oh, let me show you. Well, I think you can even see the shine. Also, this I don't wear on a daily basis um, for occasion or just for one day, and I just take them off. I'm going to put them on for a video. I think they're very pretty. I like Mother of Pearl on in any jewelry. Uh, I like Pearl. So that's how it looks on me. Love them. Would love to get them in another um, stone. Possibly, I, I'm not sure. I don't like Onyx. I don't like Onyx in Van Cleef. I don't know why. I like Onyx as a stone, but I don't like it in Van Cleef. So it's not going to be black stone for sure, but not sure. in. I know they come in Malachite, um, and I think they come in a gate too. I don't know. I have to check. But... Um, but this one was Mother of Pearl. If you would uh, get your first Van Cleef earrings in this size, if you like Mother of Pearl, I would get Mother of Pearl because it kind of goes with everything. Um, I mean, you don't have to color coordinate because other stones are pretty colorful. Well, um, also, I'm not sure if these big ones, um, vintage one, come just uh, with the diamonds. I know small ones, sweet ones, come with the diamonds, which I would love to get in uh, white gold also, along with, as I mentioned previously, with these little ones, with the, with the, this little ones with the red stone. By the way, this is size comparison. This is, would be more like everyday earring, and uh, this is more like for occasion. So again, uh, not visible problems. I don't know, maybe tomorrow the stone gonna fall off. I don't know, but so far as of today, I have no problems with these earrings. 
I literally wear them for every single wedding I go to. Uh, they're like, especially if it's summer wedding, but um, they go with every single dress. Okay, and what I have left, I have left two bracelets to show you, and I'm gonna start with this one. Again, I bought it pre-loved on Fashion File, and I just like this stone. I mean, I like turquoise, I like blue ag agat, agate, and I like that it's like not made, matte, it's, um, you know, if you can tell, it's, it's transparent, transparent a little bit. Very beautiful stone, very beautiful stone. I'm not gonna waste time trying to put bracelet on, but that's how it looks. I tend to wear this one in the summer and uh, doesn't mean you can you cannot wear it all year round, but I don't know, I, somehow I reach it for more in the summer. Necklace would be nice. Um, by the way, I see a lot of people putting two different bracelets together and making a necklace out of it, which is very good idea, I gotta say. And I don't know how many you need. You probably need um, three bracelets to make necklace out of it. Again, um, I don't shower in it don't swim in it, I take it out, I, which I actually don't like to take my jewelry off and on all the time. But um, in this case, I make an effort. Uh, so far, no problems. Again, no, none of the visible problems. I don't see any. I'm not sure how a gate um, handles wear and tear, but uh, I don't have any problems. But regardless of the stone, they always tell you not to shower in one click jewelry and not to swim, not to put perfume, creams, all that kind of stuff. All I know for sure, malachite shrinks. I'm not sure about other stones. So it can just fall off and you can lose it. Um, and my last one with peas, which is most durable because there are no stones in it, is this bracelet. Again, I don't remember the name. Check my jewelry collection video for a name, proper name, or just Google it. I think it called, it's called Hammered. Sweet Alhambra, love this bracelet a lot. So this one, I just do everything in it. If I put it on, it doesn't come out, uh, comes, it doesn't come off for weeks or months. Um, like this piece, I like to layer the reason, this I also got uh, pre-loved. The reason I got uh, in plain gold, just to layer with this one together see how nice it looks together yes or layer it with any other of my pieces not layer like wear them together like this necklace and this bracelet or this necklace and this bracelet or these earrings. Wait a minute. I meant to keep those earrings on. Hold on one second. I forgot to keep them on. Okay. And um, wear it with a bracelet. So it goes with every single piece I wear. By the way, today I'm going on a Christmas party and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to wear this necklace along with this together i do hesitate to wear them together green and um red on a regular basis because it's too christmasy to me but today it's perfect occasion for it but i do see people um 
wearing uh, necklaces together, different colors. So if you like that combination on a regular basis, uh, please do wear them together, but I'm gonna wear them for Christmas season. They do look together good, it's like Christmas tree. Okay, so uh, what can I tell? I usually hesitate to buy a jewelry which are high maintenance, like one clip, for example, is high maintenance, some other pieces, especially the pieces which have stones. But um, one clip is the exception for me, it's classic piece. Um, it's a little bit out of my style. It's like those flowers, it's a little bit too girly for me um but i still love it and i still sometimes i uh try to wear very masculine outfit with these necklaces just to downplay the girliness um i have a few pieces on my wish list um i have a necklace in white gold with either just diamonds in there or it's i don't remember the name i'll try find the picture and insert uh a uh, picture of that necklace i'm talking about an insert so either with diamonds or just it's plain gold but very shiny shiny polished gold and as i said i want the same um the same earrings and also uh, earrings in this size in sweet uh, Alhambra, white gold with diamonds all around. So these are my pieces I'm lasting over. I'm not there yet for those long necklaces, um, like long ones. I feel like they are very ladylike, elegant, just too elegant for me for now, maybe when I get older um also i'm not there yet for a big one i think it's called magic alhambra it's a very big stone i do like it on people especially when it's just a long necklace and one single stone there but i'm not quite there yet in terms of stones um i see that gray stone which i'm not sure what it is and i like uh it's it's gray but it has like almost like unicorn uh, sheen into it. I don't see them a lot, but I see it on people and they're just beautiful, beautiful stones. A lot of beautiful pieces one clip has. Uh, they have very high-end pieces, which I'm not even looking at. Um, but so far I have those three pieces on my wish list. Um, you never know, maybe this Christmas I'll get one of those. Maybe Santa gonna be nice to me. Okay, so this is it for today. So to summarize my experience with Van Cleef, it's not bad experience. Actually, it's good experience. No problems with any of my stones. And I, um, again, to remind you, I have Mother of Pearl, I have Blue Agate, I have Malachite, and I have uh, Cornelian. Cornelian. Again, I probably butcher the name. And well, this is has no stones, so it's uh, no, definitely not a problem with this one. But again, I watched a lot of reviews and I watched uh, uh, a lot of people complaining about problems they having uh, with uh, their Van Cleef pieces, especially with a Malachite. What, oh, another thing, um, I don't have rings still in my collection, but uh, I don't like anything. It's not like I don't like anything yet. I don't see anything for me yet, um, unless, again, I will go for a pure gold with diamonds so we'll see we'll see i'll keep you guys posted so that's it for today let me know if you like the video let me know if you own those pieces if you experienced um any problems with these pieces always good to know 
um, and uh, let me know if you have something on your wish list. And um, if you have any questions, uh, I will be happy to answer them in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on this channel um, uh, if you are not following me yet and press that bell notification uh, button so you can get notified uh, every time I post a video. I'll try to keep Sundays, but again, uh, I fell off on my schedule. So I try to do it every Sunday. It's not working, guys. I'm just too busy at home. And so, but I will, if I post any videos, it probably would be Sunday. I will keep a day as a Sunday. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the same name, um, love me some lux. And um, thank you for watching uh, and I will see you in another video. Bye.